Hey everybody, this is Admiral Lee Kirk here, and I'm going to be casting the games from the High School StarCraft Team League. Here is game one, where Twitchy, the Zerg player, spawning in the west position, will be playing off against Lucas Mayer, or Krylogique, from Hinsdale Central, Hinsdale Central, pardon me, um, in the east position, and he is from Evanston, Evanston High School, I can't speak. So why don't we get started? This is game one, uh, PVZ on Metalopolis, and you'll notice it is the MLG style Metalopolis, where everything is cross map. Some good manners here. Why don't we open up the APM tab to show how well Lucas can spam? All right, into something that actually tells us something. We won't be seeing any major cheese from the Zerg standpoint. Um. um yeah, why don't we open up the name panel, control N. So, uh, the Zerg has started his Overlord just a little bit after the Protoss started his Pylon. He's also getting gas before pool or hatch. Oh, he's just doing the extractor trick. Clever, clever. And he finally does get that out. Uh, and, uh... Our Protoss player, Krylogic, is uh, has some familiarity with the MLG style maps, and is therefore scouting cross position first. Uh, let's have a quick look here at what Zerg is doing in the Twitchy cam, and there are actually a lot of us uh, observing. Twitchy is staring very closely at his base, and he's looking to throw down his hatchery at 13 before pool. Well, Krylogic actually will not block it. He almost put that down in the wrong position there. And let's see how Lucas responds. Lucas begins getting his own gateway and starts to go pew 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 at a probe there. Um, uh, Lucas is also getting his first gas relatively early, but I do know that Lucas's style tends to favor very quick double gas heavy sentry play. Uh, he is currently not saving Chrono Boost, which means we won't be seeing any 4-gate nonsense. And we see not great Overlord spread. I do like putting this over here. And uh, he's not actually... He just now started his pool. So, like, a cannon play or any sort of really early aggression could punish this. But it looks like both players are going to be in for a macro game. So, uh, Lucas is going gate into core, uh, continues to chrono boost out probes. And actually, if you look at the units tab, he is up to uh, two probes. And uh, now that's down to one. Uh, our Zerg player has not yet gotten his pool up. His expansion is almost done. And they are just sort of having little worker, worker back and forth. Uh, we have our second gas going down for the Protoss, which is slightly unusual to see this early, especially second gas before expansion, and it shows uh, some moderate one base play is going to be had. And we also see the probe coming back in to scout. I do like this, and I apologize if you can hear that whistling and shaking in the background. That is my dog tweaking out. So uh, we're just going to ignore it. Uh, the Zerg throws down a preemptive spine crawler. Good play. I will now just let my dog out. Uh, so the Zerg throws down a preemptive spine crawler. Well, uh, our Protoss player, Krylogique, is continuing to just macro up, get out more workers, and chrono boost. Oh, not actually chrono boosting out Warp Gate. His chrono boost is at around 31, and he does a nice little maneuver there to kill three workers, and it looks like he is saving up for an expansion. And there he goes. Oh, guess he almost canceled it or something. So the Protoss player throws down an expansion at the five minute mark exactly. Well, the Zerg player. Is getting up spine crawlers and is going Spanishiwa style. No gas. Ooh, fun. For those of you who don't know, Spanishiwa was a player featured on Friend Day Wednesday, uh, or Friend Day Wednesday, however it's pronounced, on the Day 9 Daily, who is fond of getting extremely delayed gas as Zerg and just defending with spine crawlers, queens, and unspeed Zerglings. And then after you get three base very early, you get. Um, you start to get your gas. So our uh, Protoss player is getting a forge. I like this. Uh, as a player, I like to go extremely fast upgrades. And the Zerg is getting a lot of free scouting here. The Sentry is going to come up here. And uh, in a fight between Sentry and Overlord, we lose because it's the most boring fight in the world to watch. 
let's go back to watching the Zerg macro. Yes, this is definitely Spinny Shiwa style. Uh, I like this. I think this is an interesting play to go. And just now he gets his double gas. Um, generally in the Spinny Shiwa build, what you would instead do is you would get your third, then throw down a bunch of gases. But instead he is going for sort of a pseudo Spinny Shiwa. Uh, and now we have our Protoss player with three gates. Uh, a forge, not researching anything. Uh, I would like to see plus one attack get thrown down here, especially if we're going to see any robo play. I guess he doesn't want any upgrades. He just wants cannons. So the Zerg just now is getting their gas, and it's just now throwing down a ro Roach Warrant. Now, the disadvantage to Spanishiwa's build, which is, as I said, constant queen production, uh, going for a lot of unspeed Zerglings, uh, very fast third pre gas and defending only with spine crawlers and queens, is it means you get a very late layer, which means any kind of tech play is very delayed, which is fine in a vacuum, but hold on. Uh, I apologize. There was just a little Skype chat phoning me. Uh, so Spanishiwa's play is fine in a vacuum. However, it can leave you vulnerable to, uh, essentially, you don't get to get up into the high tech, which is where Zerg is dangerous, uh, on layer and a slightly in high. Uh, again, somebody is Skype texting me, so... So I am very sorry about that. I have just dealt with it. Yes, so Spinishiwa just came to fame very, very close before this, and now we're seeing our layer at the 8 minute mark. That is not very quick. Uh, and the Zerg is also getting a relatively fast third. So we haven't actually seen the Protoss start to tech up yet. He has three gates and a robo. He's getting mostly sentries, in fact, all sentries and a zealot, which, uh, from something I know of Lucas, is his style of play. He likes to use very heavy force fields. Uh, and generally this is acceptable. Uh, I'm sorry Skype is being super annoying, so let's just deal with this. So I am very sorry about that. I have just dealt with it. Yes, so Spinishiwa just came to fame very, very close before this. And now we're seeing our layer at the 8 minute mark. That is not very quick. Uh, and the Zerg is also getting a relatively fast third. So we haven't actually seen the Protoss start to tech up yet. He has three gates and a robo. He's getting mostly sentries. In fact, all sentries and a zealot which, uh, from something I know of Lucas, is his style of play. He likes to use very heavy force fields, uh, and generally this is acceptable. Uh, I'm sorry Skype is being super annoying, so let's just deal with this. There we go, problem solved. So, just now we're starting to see our first stalker, and this forge, he's getting his second forge before getting his first upgrade from his first forge. Don't do this. If you get a forge, even if you get it for cannons, start getting plus one attack. Sure, it means you can't afford a sentry, but it's better to have everything have the upgrade than it is to just have the forge sitting there doing nothing. Otherwise, it is a waste. It would be like a Zerg getting uh, an engine, or not an engineering bay, it'd be, or sure, why don't we do that? It would be a Terran getting an engineering bay for turrets and then not using it to upgrade bio. Even if you're not going gateway, or even, although this doesn't really matter for Protoss because Protoss gets everything gets their upgrades so just buy them quickly even if it's not in your strategy an upgrade won't hurt and they're hella cheap in comparison to how useful they are so we are still seeing four gateways and a robo with a robotic support bay uh going up against three hatch zerg with let's hit our units tab real quick four queens 18 roaches and seven unspeeded links but here's the advantage of the Protoss race he is actually ahead on probes so let's get back in the production tab. We see Zerg speed coming down along with uh, Roach healing. Uh, we don't actually see Burrow unless it's already researched because I'm an idiot and I didn't notice. So no, Burrow isn't researched. So I have to say Gleal uh, Reconstitution is not valuable without Burrow. Uh, I don't believe. Oh no, I'm being an idiot. That's what I'm thinking of as Tunneling Claws. No, get Gleal Reconstitution. It's good. Uh, roach, speed roaches are always good, however, considering the amount of queens this guy has, which is a, a ton, this creep spread is, inf is unforgivable. He should have complete map vision, considering how many queens he has. Instead, he... Um, it, queens, uh, like having a hatchery that isn't researching something or isn't building a queen is like having a, um, is like having an upgrade facility that isn't getting upgrades. It's just a waste of money or it's a waste of time. It's a sunk cost that could be used to actually get something. So in the meantime, back in the Protoss base, we see him getting up instead uh, Colossus, uh, Colossus Ground, which is always good. He's Chrono Boosting out his uh, upgrades, finally, even though he has a second Forge, which he could be using. 
Uh, so shame on him, he seems to have forgotten it. He is also taking his third. Um, this is decent third timing, 12 minutes, always strong. And someone is pinging, which is annoying. Uh, so I hate it when the spectators ping, but what am I going to do about it? So now he is warping in a bunch of stalkers. This is a strong gateway mix. And, oh, I get it. There's these four things and they're just not fighting each other. So why don't we look at the Zerg upgrades versus the Protoss upgrades. Zerg is on 1-1, one, one, while Protoss is on 1-0. So even though he could be way ahead at this point, he is taking his third base while the Zerg already has his third base. Zerg's creep isn't great.